Daily Log Vlog Series with Captain Jay Galloway. That's me. Today is December 30th, 2016. And it this is going to be log entry number 18. Excuse me for a second. I didn't realize my collar was up. So I only have two more days left of this year. So far, today has been a pretty good day. Kind of quiet at work. Mainly because everybody else is on vacation. No, no. Holiday vacation, or what do you, I guess what we call that? Holiday break? Paid time off for them, not for me, since I work security, and it's a 24-hour man post, so security will always be there. Anyways, getting back on track. Like I said, today's been a pretty good day, just a really quiet day. I'm kind of excited about that. I'm also kind of excited for this year to end. Also, tomorrow, December 31st, um, my Boy Scout troop that I'm involved with, we are starting our tree country cycling, so my son will have an opportunity to earn some money for some of his scouting events, like summer camp or uh, IE supplies or anything else that he may or may not need. Well, actually, things he'll need. I won't buy things that he won't need. Um, beyond that, um, my starships are looking pretty good. The ones that I painted yesterday. We can go ahead and take a look at those, I suppose. Just give me a second to walk over there. Don't tell my daughter that we're doing a vlog, because she might want to join us. So let me go ahead and grab those. Alright, looks like here... Right, here's one of them. Oh, sorry, let me go ahead and go into this bathroom area. As you can kind of tell, it's the first layer of paint kind of... Well, actually, this is the second layer. I, I snuck in last night and did another layer. So it still looks kind of rough around the edges in some places. I'll probably end up hitting it up again with another coat, but we'll see. I'm going to go grab some of the other ones. I did like the way that the board ship turned out, so... The board ships, let me rephrase that. And... Let me grab them. Again, they're a little dark, but this is really going to be dark because of the fact that... <laughs> there we go. Like I said, I really like the way they came out. Black's definitely a good color for the board. I mean, I'm not going to keep them straight black. I do have some other plans, but hang on a second. I got to grab the last three ships that I painted. All right. And here are the last three. So let me go ahead and grab those. Here's the second Klingon ship that I was painting yesterday. You can kind of tell it definitely looks like a Klingon ship now. It does not have that weird looking color. I really like it. So what I'm going to do today is hit it up with a second coat. Try to make it a little more smooth. I really, really like the way the spear came out. Check this out. Mm-hmm. Like I said, that really came out nice. I think it's going to really pop, especially when I hit it with a second coat. Well, the board ships, I'm probably not going to hit with a second coat, but I am going to hit it with, like, probably, like, a dark gray, maybe a gun, maybe not gun metal, but at least a dark gray. Try to hit some of those higher edge points so it brings a little more contrast to it and pop makes it pop out. Let's see what else here. So, I will be messing with those in a little bit. Also, right now... It looks like Cadet Kaylee... Oh, no wonder why Cadet Kaylee hasn't interfered with us. She is hanging out with her mom, Lieutenant Fitzgerald, and they are going um, over to a friend's house. So, hey, Vice Admiral Richard Smith, how's it going tonight? I'm just doing a quick blog blog series. Just want to talk about my day. Don't worry, I won't give away any fleet secrets. Hopefully, Rich says, hopefully Richard Smith says something in response to that. You know, Richard, if you um, leave a comment, it actually will post it onto the screen, and I can actually read it live on air. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, so Vice Admiral Richard Smith is watching. Thank you for watching today. He's our fleet commander with Fleet 31, which is the group that we're a part of. I'm always, you know, promoting the fleet within, so 
he's a great guy, great leader. Um, we've had a really successful year as a fan base organization. We do some cosplaying. We do a lot of charity events. You know, we're expanding in all directions, so it's really awesome. Richard Smith, are you going to say anything? Uh, maybe he's just watching. Oh, there he goes. Tired, but looking forward to tomorrow. What's going on tomorrow, Admiral? Uh, what I was saying, as you're getting a chance to respond, um, basically, tomorrow for us, we start our tree country cycling with the Boy Scouts of America with our local troop in our area. So we're actually looking forward to that. Nathaniel and I are. In preparation, we're actually doing all the cooking this year. My wife and I are going to do all that cooking. So we... We're doing spaghetti. So I pre-cooked all the meat tonight. I'm going to be pre-cooking the noodles here in a little bit. So this won't be a long entry. But I just want to at least get on here and do a quick update. So like I was saying earlier, just a couple days left. It's been a pretty uneventful day, which sometimes those are the best days when you don't really have too much going on in your life. And you're kind of excited about that because with everything else that's been going on lately, it's just... <laughs> Sometimes it's nice not to have something going on and you can just get a chance to relax and take a breath and and just wait for it to hopefully be over soon. <laughs> what I'm referring to is 2016. I am just so ready for this year to be over with. But until then, I do still have a couple obligations I got to complete and some things that are really important to me, like my son and our boy scouting career. That's really starting to take off for that. Oh, speaking of which. Um, small news, my wife's um, accounts finally got updated today. Even though the council office is closed, I don't know how that happened, but somehow it did. So we were able to confirm her that she is now a committee member within our local troop and that her permissions and everything were updated because she was able to take her youth protection training, which is very important if you're going to be a leader. All right, going to open discussion. Okay. So I didn't know if we were allowed to talk about that. So currently going on in the fleet, we're actually talking about for the first time in our fleet history, we are going to be opening up our sector commanders for open election, and we're doing a little reshuffling of the sectors. So right now that's currently going on in the discussion council. Basically, the council is any CEO of a local chapter area that is established and at least has a few active members, or I believe it's eight um, they get promoted to commander and they get voting rights. Once they get up to 15 members in their local area, they get promoted to what I am, a captain. So when I first started these um, series, I was a commander. Now I got promoted up to captain. And well, one of the things as a sector commander is um, before in the fleet, and this wasn't by no fault. It was just, you know, the fleet started up in 2009 and... People are like, oh, well, we need leadership. Okay, great. You're it. <laughs> you know, and then there was no time limit. So we've had sector commanders been fleet leaders for years. Even if they wanted to, like, step back, they, you know, they really had to try to, you know, like, most of them try to struggle through it. I know, like, for example, my sector commander, he works his butt off. He's an awesome sector commander. And I know he's been struggling from time to time. You know, certain things come up and, It'd probably be nice for him or maybe nice for some of the other sector commanders to finally get a break, maybe just focus on their chapters. But a sector commander basically is in charge of a few states. Like for the um, West Coast, it's obviously, you know, the classic West Coast, Washington, Idaho, California, um, Montana, I believe Arizona and Colorado. I could be missing one, but I think that was pretty much what it is. I'm not in front of my computer to take a look. But the East Coast has been getting so big that actually in the CO Council, which is what um, Richard was talking about earlier, is um there's a vote right now talking about splitting the East Coast into two separate sectors. Um, the East North, I mean Northeast and the Southeast sectors. And so basically what we'll do is we'll pull our um, Canadian International um, sector commander and we'll make him the Northeast sector commander, at least until open elections if this vote passes and um and then i believe jamie will be jamie snyder i think is going to be taking over southeast until open public elections oh and the public election right now is a one-year term so this way like i said it gives people an opportunity if they want to step back so that's my basically my fleet recruitment plug anything else that i'm missing admiral that you probably want me to discuss real quick 
But I pretty much nail everything that we can talk about publicly. <laughs> well, there, honestly, the fleet really doesn't keep too many secrets. It's just usually we like to wait till all the votes are passed before we start, talk too much about certain things. But like I said, this is a pretty open group, pretty trustworthy. I mean, it's a lot of fun to be part of the fleet, honestly. I would recommend that any of my potential fans out there may or may not have someday that you should definitely, definitely look at either Fleet 31 or other fleets, preferably mine. Well, ours, <laughs> Fleet 31, because like I said, it's a lot of fun. We attend conventions. Um, we have a pretty good turnout, good group of guys, always have some fun. Um, we're pretty active on our Facebook social media page. Like some other groups, we don't really use Facebook or TeamSpeak, but we do... Um, we usually like to use Facebook or our social medias. I think we're also looking at the possibility of maybe going on to Twitter in the future, but I'm not sure. I know we had talked about it at some point, but it, the conversations really didn't get anywhere. A couple other things that the councils really talk, you know, that we have some ideas on the back burner, but nothing that's ready at this point yet to to move forward. Okay. All right. Thank you, Admiral. He says there's really nothing else. Okay. And before I close off, because I do got to get back and start cooking some more noodles, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy holidays. And like I said, this is entry number 18. I'm going to probably try to do at least two more entries before. Well, I'm probably on my 20th entry, actually, you know, since it's a nice even number 20 to be probably my New Year's countdown, which is going to really be hard because not only do I have to, like, you know, stay up until midnight and then I have to turn around and cook for all the boys in the next morning at nine o'clock in the morning so you know plus get some sleep and then try to get up and transfer and drive over there go pick up the troop trailer make sure all those supplies are ready it's gonna be an interesting time i'm probably gonna be really tired all right well this is captain jay galloway um this is entry number 18 and i'm signing off in five four three two one